All right, here's today's money saving tip. This is less of a tip per se and more of an education point because most people don't know this and that is the difference between an HSA and an FSA. You've probably seen those terms a whole bunch and maybe didn't know the difference between the two until today. <laughs> In general terms, an HSA is a health savings account versus an FSA, which is a flexible spending account, but both are used for offsetting healthcare costs. On a big picture level, here are the two biggest differences. An FSA is employer owned, meaning you can't take it with you if you leave your job. And it's also less flexible, which I know, shouldn't make sense since it's called a flexible spending account. Withdrawals on FSAs are not allowed and contributions generally can't be rolled over from one year to the next. An HSA, however, is controlled by an individual and is more flexible. You can take a withdrawal, although there is a pretty hefty penalty for it, and contributions can be rolled over from one year to the next. So one of the questions I see a lot is, well, why not just always get an HSA? Well, an HSA requires you to be enrolled in a high deductible health plan, which isn't always feasible for a lot of people. And although HSAs and FSAs are both paid with pre-tax dollars, FSAs actually cover a slightly wider variety of activities in terms of what you can use them for. That's where the word flexible comes in. For instance, FSAs can be used for childcare, but then the account has to be designated a certain way as a dependent care FSA. But again, you have to use it or lose it. Okay, so let's cover the key differences. Can contributions be rolled over from one year to the next? HSA, yes. FSA, no. If you're self-employed, are you eligible? HSA, yes. Although again, you're probably gonna have to get a high deductible insurance plan. FSA, no. Because again, FSAs are associated with employer plans. Can you take a withdrawal? HSAs, yes, but there's a pretty significant penalty tax. FSAs, no. Also, with FSAs, you have to tell your employer how much to deduct from your gross pay. But again, you can use the FSA dollars on a slightly wider range of activities. There you go. Those are the big differences between an HSA and an FSA.